media of awesome, I'm Ava J and this is Bookish Pixie. So I'll often get comments on the blog or vlog or emails from readers and viewers who talk about their writing and how they don't feel like their writing is really the greatest. So today I want to cover what if your writing sucks. Now that sounds kind of mean, but bear with me. When you recognize your work isn't as good as it could be, that means you've reached a level where you can critique your writing and see that what's on the page isn't quite there yet. And that, my friends, is actually a good thing. Because once you see the flaws in your writing, that means you can start to work toward making it better. Good news is first drafts usually suck. Yeah. And why is that good news, you ask? No matter what skill level you're at or how many books you've written, chances are likely when you look at your first draft, you're not going to be all that impressed. First drafts are also known as rough drafts for a reason. And the reason is the most important part of the first draft is just getting the story down. Whether or not your characters are developing correctly and your pacing is on par and your writing is flowing honestly can all be fixed later. I like writing books that require a lot of world building, for example, but in my first drafts, there's like no world building. My first drafts are known to have many scenes that take place in a vacuum because I didn't really describe anything. I also rely on crutch words and sometimes I'll leave blanks and I've been known to do really bad pacing, especially towards the end where I just want to get it done. So yeah, I mean, first drafts are not meant to be perfect or even close to that. So my point is, if you're looking at your first draft and going, <laughs> This is so bad! Relax. It's okay. If you're looking at your writing and seeing it's not quite there yet, it means it's just time to start revising. And if you've been doing a ton of revisions and you still feel like it's not there, you have two options. First, you can send it to your critique partners and see what they think. Or second, you can take a break and work on something else. In the meantime, you also want to be reading a lot. I've already done a vlog on why writers need to read, so I'll link to that below, but it's really important that you read in and out of the genre you're writing in, and it can be really helpful to read craft books. When I say craft books, I mean books that are about improving your writing. Some recommendations include the Fire and Fiction by Donald Mass, Plot and Structure and Revision and Self-Editing by James Scott Bell, which by the way I practically studied, especially at the beginning, Your First Novel by Anne Rittenberg and Laura Whitcomb, and Novel Shortcuts by Laura Whitcomb. Now the hard truth is it takes some people much longer than others to reach that point of publication ready writing. From the time that I decided I wanted to be a published author and I started writing my very first manuscript to the time that Beyond the Red will be published in March 2016, it'll have been ten and a half years. Yeah. It doesn't take everyone that long, of course, and it takes some people even longer, but the point is, it's okay if it takes a while for you to get there. You aren't any better or worse than anyone else for taking longer or shorter to get your skills publication ready. But the thing is, it's not a race, so don't rush the process. Time is working for you. Remember that. If you take the time to make each book that you write the very best that it can be and you don't give up, then I 100% believe that you'll get there. So keep writing, keep reading, keep revising, and keep going. So that's all I got for today. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to subscribe and comment, and I'll see you guys next week.